So by now you've probably all seen the new Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer. If not, open another tab and take a look at it because you're probably one of the few people that haven't seen it. You're missing out if you haven't. Watch it now. Okay, now that you're back, let's go over this trailer. So we see a lot of things in this trailer. A lot of old, a lot of new. It's just so nostalgic. And that's the greatest thing about this trailer. It, it tugs at the child within you. I felt like a child watching this trailer and it just felt so good. Like, yes, I was about six years old when I saw the original trilogy before seeing the prequel trilogy with my parents for the Phantom Menace came out. They showed me them on VHS and that's what it felt like. Again, watching it as a child. So it kind of turns out we were all wrong. It's not Tatooine. It's a new planet that just happens to be a desert planet called Jakku. 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 Sounds like Klingon, doesn't it? Jakku. Daka. Da. Do you even know what I've said? I probably have said some race out there. But Jakku is this planet. Don't know why I'm putting so much emphasis on it, but it sounds good like that. Probably not even the way it's pronounced. But this planet seems to be being part of a battle. Some huge space battle above it. And it has just rained ships. There's X-Wings and then there's Star Destroyers littered on this planet. So it seems like it'd be sort of a scrap world where hey, one of the main characters Ray, played by uh, Daisy Ridley he is a salvager so hey, perfect planet for it if it's that's the case so you've probably also noticed that the first shot of this is quite a peaceful looking plane but as the camera kind of follows this speeder going across the landscape we see it isn't so peaceful, maybe this is too we thought at the end of Return of Jedi, hey, the Death Star's been destroyed again. The Emperor's dead, Vader's dead. Hey, maybe things are going to start getting good, back to normal. Peace is going to start happening. Maybe not. Maybe things just got worse. From the looks of this trailer. Shit hit the fan in Star Wars. So we've got now an even more grittier galaxy. More of a used looking galaxy. So... This should look kind of good. J.J. Abrams has said that he's wanted to make this kind of look messy. Not, not bad messy, just kind of looks like it's been used. It's a used universe, which the original trilogy was. It was a used universe. Nothing was really shiny. Things were built. Things were used. Things looked like they had been lived in, which is perfect for Seven to go into. Also, we get a little bit more of the droid in this, BB-8. Rolling around, chasing after, well, when I say chasing, he's actually trying to keep up with our two new established protagonists when a TIE fighter, if you notice, comes in to try and shoot them. Now, why is it after them? That's a brilliant question. Again, this trailer is sort of different scenes in different places. Trailers are meant to question things. Now, what I like about these trailers so far, the two Star Wars ones, they've shown us stuff, but they've never taught us anything properly. It's a guess game. It's like, it's like a puzzle. You have to have the jig and you have to have the saw. We have the jig, but we have no saw. And I've just quoted Steve Martin from Pink Panther. Also, again, like within this trailer, we noticed that there's some practical elements. There's obviously, CGI has had to be used for it as well. But it does look good seeing it all together blending into the flesh. Something which most films seem to lack a lot of now. Another thing actually we didn't really see in this trailer was uh, Max von S Shadow? Shadow? You know, that guy from The Exorcist? We didn't see him, but he's apparently one of the main villains. Now, when I say maybe we don't see him, there is a clip where we get to see a load of stormtroopers on an icy like planet. Is it Hoth? I don't know. Why would you want to take Hoth? It's fucking snow. It's just cold. But, snowy base. Load of troops, turbo lasers, what look like they're from the Death Star there. New Imperial flag, hey, they lost, well, the Emperor, so... What is this? Is a remnant? A faction? A new order of the Empire? Who knows? But there's someone there, in the middle, leading them. All in black. Is this Max? I don't know. Also, we get to see, like, new TIE Fighters. Now, again, with this film and these trailers, we've seen some sort of evolution. That the TIE Fighters... 
are still TIE fighters, but they look different. The Stormtroopers are still Stormtroopers, but they look different. Their things have been updated. Hey, it's 30 years have passed. New ships. We've got the old remnants of, hey, we've seen the Star Destroyer in the sand, in the desert. This is the new one. And it looks frightening. It's kind of got a bit of a bottom lip of sorts. A underbite. And it looks... This new Star Destroyer does look... Intent. It looks threatening like the old ones, which it's staying within the old and the new. Again, 30, 35 years later, what does Star Wars look like now? Also, we get to see within, and I, again, I'm only guessing, putting shots in the where from these two trailers, but we got a battle in a hangar, and we can see space outside a force field, and shit's hitting a fan in this hangar. People, uh, stormtroopers are going left and right, there's explosions, there's lasers, there's fighting. Is this the part where Finn, our male protagonist, to probably our new one, played by John Boyega, is this him defecting? Is this him leaving the Empire? Did something happen? Did they turn on him for reasons unknown? Who knows? Luke, throughout the trailer, goes on about, like, the Force is strong in my family, it was strong in my father, it's strong in me, it's strong in my sister, and it's strong in you. Who's he talking about? Which protagonist could be a force wielder? We don't know yet to know. It'll be kind of interesting if it's a female one. So again, we see that it looks like a sort of clip like in round the area of this hangar battle. We see actually blood. Now the last time we actually ever saw blood in Star Wars was, well, there was Attack of the Clones with Natalie Portman getting scratched across her back. And then... Where the original Star Wars when Alec Guinness cut off that guy's arm? The guy with the anus mouth. Don't know what he's called. I don't really care for the names. He's got a he's got an anus mouth. I'm surprised no Star Wars fan has talked about this yet. That's a bum. He has cheeks. A mouth. And then we got one hell of a badass shot of the crone trooper. It's just so shiny! It's beautiful, you can eat your dinner. Of this suit of armor, but he's in the foreground. But in the background, it kind of looks like that kind of old Death Star paneling. It's like a old school Empire kind of wallpaper. I'm not saying it's wallpaper, but it looks neat. And then, but there's something to the side of him, to his left, I think. All right, I don't know which way this video clip's gonna go because I am looking at this camera. So to the side of him. Is it rock? Is it organic? Does it look metal? It looks kind of organic. So it'll be interesting to see what comes of that. So again, we've got like the Empire has evolved, the Rebels have evolved, they, they've got new X Wings now, which are still X Wings, they're just different layout and stuff. So this universe has changed since we last saw it in Return of the Jedi, and it kind of looks like it's get it's got worse. In this galaxy it's not peaceful still yes during the empire reign it was still it was ruled with an iron fist and the rebels came battled it out and tried to like restore freedom but it doesn't look like it's worked which is the kind of the frightening thing we get to see more of this so-called villain in star wars this i can't remember his name but he looks a lot like revan from the old republic but he looks badass he looks like he could be the main protagonist of the of the new series, of the new trilogy of Star Wars. There's quite a few, couple of these villains. We've got, like, again, this Crone Trooper's apparently a villain, and along with, hey, this new Sith dude. Apparently he's going around stealing ancient artifacts. Hey, he's got this saber that looks kind of unstable for that time, and now we've got Vader's helmet. It's all melted, and it looks ugh, kind of scary. It's kind of like if the Elephant Man wore it. But it looks just so, it hit the feels, it gave me chills just looking at this helmet now. What you may have noticed from this teaser as well, the tone seems to be a lot darker. It's sort of like Empire-like dark, which, hey, I'm kind of welcoming. Again, with this new Sith, there seems to be a bit where you get to see the stormtroopers in action behind them. And it looks like, I wouldn't say hostages, but civilians in fear of this new Dark Lord perhaps. The, the surrounding area is, a, is dark, there's ash, there's 
fire. Like, I'm, I don't think it's Mustafa, but it's some sort of maybe factory world or whatever kind of world. It's just, things look like they're burning. It's on fire as if the Empire is not going to go down without a fight. You cut off one head, another grows. That's basically what this Empire seems to be like now. And again, back to the Star Destroyers. The last shot of this trailer, well, the second last shot, it is gorgeous. We see the Millennium Falcon being chased by a lone TIE fighter. Probably carrying on from the short clip we saw in the first teaser. And it, in full on Return of the Jedi, Hamad flies through the engine of said Star Destroyer. Now, this doesn't look like the same Star Destroyer from the beginning of the trailer. It looks a lot bigger. Now, I'm only guessing it's a Star Destroyer due to the engines. It looks a lot like sort of the Super Star Destroyer. Those Dreadnought ones from episode 5 and 6. The Vader's main ship. That's what it looks like. It's wrecked. It's it's beneath, partially beneath the sand. It's eroded. It's worn. And they fly through it being chased by a pilot in like... Again, homage to the original trilogy. You get to see the new Imperial pilot. And again, they've been sort of upgraded. They look... They still look like Imperial pilots, but they've been given a new, fresh look. It still looks like them, which I'm digging. And again, the Millennium Falcon gets away, explosions, bridge falling. It looks great, and then it just ends. And then all you hear is Chewie, we're home. We see them, Han Solo and Chewbacca, the two, the two rogues of Star Wars, one of the kind of best loved characters from this lore and it's great to see them back and so yes yes they've obviously got older 35 years since the original trilogy was made but it is kind of good this again a nostalgic kick again it it was again you felt like a child watching this trailer and that's what these kind of movie trailers should do they should make you feel sort of like a kid inside yeah ah, yes and i look forward to what jj abrams gives us on December 18th. It should be good. Like Again, some of the things they're doing with this movie. They're using a good blend of practical and CGI effects. They've got Lawrence Kishner, who wrote The Empire Strikes Back, which is deemed to be the best out of the series, which I would agree. He's also done Raiders of the Lost He hasn't done much recent work, which mm, does he still have it? That's, that's the question there. Also got less involvement with Lucas, kind of thing I agree with. I'm not too fond of what he, he had too much power, I would say, over the prequels. There was not enough decisions, I would say, not enough confrontation between him and his crew. That's what kind of what you need to do. You can't have everything 100% yours. Maybe that's kind of why Disney hasn't gone with his ideas. Now, again, we may never find out what his ideas were in the end, but... Hey, maybe if they could come to light, it could be a good what-if story. Now that what the EU is, what if? Now that we've got the official episode 7, 8, 9 spin-offs, and probably even maybe probably another trilogy coming. It's a good time to be a Star Wars fan, and I look forward to seeing what else the series, do, the series does in the future. Also, right now, waiting for Battlefront. That should be good. So, I've been a movie maniac. This has been your little sort of review insight analysis analysis of the new Star Wars trailer. Did you enjoy it? What did you think of it? Or what was your favourite bit? And what kind of queries do you have on this new Star Wars? What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below and hey, maybe we'll be surprised in December. Hopefully not disappointed. It's been Movie Maniac. Out.